In this quick video, we're going to learn all about pattern matching inside of C-sharp. So Myra, what exactly is pattern matching? So pattern matching allows you to have a better control flow of your code. And so it supports its expressions and switch statements. So you can use pattern matching to inspect an object and its properties, and then see and make decisions based on, on a pattern that you're looking for. Sure. So if I had like a person class or something like that, and I had a first name and a last name, inside of my expression, I could check and see like what those are equal to, and then I can make certain decisions about what yeah. branch of code I want to run in? Yes. Okay, cool. Why don't we take a look at your screen and, and see some demos then? Okay. So let's first look at is expression. So with is expression, you are now allowed to, to declare the variable inside the, the expression. So before you couldn't do it in line like this. So now you can use it and then number becomes in scope for you to run it. Yeah, I remember before I'd have to have int number at the top and then in my expression I'll have whatever I'm trying to evaluate and yeah. then, you know, the rest of my code. Yeah, but maybe, now it's so much cleaner now because I just has have everything in one line. Yeah, and then you maybe would that would have to do some boxing or like convert your code again to 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 the type you're looking for. Awesome. So here is like now I ran converted that object to a string and then it no longer falls into that statement. Okay. Uh, the next one would be um, the switch statement. I think that this is a really cool part of the pattern matching feature. So here's your traditional code uh, for a switch statement. So you can use integral types like integer to check for nulls and your default case on a, on a switch statement. But now you can start uh, adding some of the of the like expressions with that. So if you want to test if if uh, the object is a string, you can do that and declare s at the same time. And then you can make tasks like starts with and then this. Ooh. I can type. <laughs> and then we'll print console right line. Right. And I'll just write string. This is a string. So if we now run test with some string value. Some string value. So let's try one. A -A -A. So in this case, um, it doesn't fall into that in that case because we're evaluating if it starts with this. So now let's this is a sentence. And then let's see if it falls into that. So you can really have a better control of, of your code. It makes it a lot cleaner. Uh, you're like you can have those case by each type of evaluation and pattern that you're looking for. So it's really cool. Awesome. Thank you for showing us this. And now you've all just learned about pattern matching set of C sharp seven.